Like, how long did it take you to make this? What first inspired you to do it? Do you do a lot of acid? I think people make art cars because it's the same reasons people make art. I mean, what drives us to, no pun intended, to to create? I got a We're so brainwashed to think that a car should be a car, a certain type of car that elevates your status in society. In my opinion, an art car says, hey look, there's a creative person. Or hey look, there's a person that sees life in a different way. Or there's a person who's almost like a philosopher. They have a different perception of the world that we live in. Can you name even one famous artist working today? Interesting characters, I could watch them all day because they fascinate me. And I'm sort of like this detective that wants to find out what's behind the character. What makes this character work? Why do they do this? Why does he cover himself with pennies? Well, women will come up to me on the street and they're interested in the vehicle. They look it over and then I ask them if they want to get in and go for a ride and it's like, well, I don't know. You know, it's a little weird for me. <laughs> Uh, the car has brought me some contentment and helped me dispel the anger that I built inside at the loss of my wife. It can be a cathartic thing for people. I do it to be loved. I mean, everybody in the world wants somebody to love them. Making art, or specifically making an art car, um, helps you get through it. Uh, a lot of the other things that helped me in my recovery when I quit drinking was the simple fact that uh, this car project came along in my life. And then some people do it because they, they have a concept. Some people do it because they want to get attention, or they don't know why they're doing it. They just have to do it. The grass car was made by Gene Poole. What he did was he took this car, which, you know, it's a very uh, man-made metal, unnatural thing, and he made it into a living thing. That is, is an amazing twist, and I think that's why that car was so powerful. And by the way, that's why art cars seem to have power, because the car itself has so much power. Listen up, folks, cause I want you to know I'm dressed in buttons from my head to my toes Reds and yellow, black and white time it takes to glue 10,000 buttons on a car, or the time it takes for, for me to put on 2,500 cameras onto a van. I wanted to show people the power of the medium, the power of the, the joy that an art car brings to people, the public on the streets. And I would try to take pictures of people, but as soon as I took the camera up to take their picture, they would, hi mom, say cheese, you know, perform for the camera, and that, that, that reaction of awe that I was trying to capture was gone. So then one night I had this dream that I covered the car with cameras. This is the lens made up of lenses, and then the viewfinder is over here. And I drove around and I took pictures of people, and they didn't know which cameras worked, and I got these great shots of, of their awe of what public art does to people. And that's what my father had taught me when I was in my teens about cameras. And it's not the camera, it's what you see. You know, it's how you see the world around you. That's what's important. And the camera is just a tool to capture that. <laughs>